Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Mario Maker action on GSA. I'm Kerbis, joining Lone Star here for the commentary for the next match. We got between Dansta and Bismuth. Yeah, coming off of that fire match with uh, Ryu and Space Cat, excited to see where things go between Dansta and Bismuth. You know, they're both pretty close here on their on their records. Um, pretty even players. This will be a great match. Both of them have one win. You know, danced at, at 10 points with, you know, Bismuth only down at four, but uh, they're clear, their average clears very close. Danced with 4.6, Bismuth with 5.3. This is going to be a good match, I think. Yeah, I think so too. Even. And as we get further into the league, uh, you know, as these two guys' playoff chances start to dwindle a little bit, they're maybe going to play a little more desperate, a little more scrappy. Yeah. They're going to be hungry. Definitely going to want to be playing aggressively. Yes take matters into their own hands because playoffs are still possible for both of them yeah yeah we'll see here how this goes dance is starting off with this cape level taking a death and a death to the piranha plant for business dance to doing the spin cape getting through that first section Both of these guys coming off L's, L's last week, both hoping that they can take away some, you know, some points, maybe even secure that second win this this week. Oh, and Bismuth going for that Ooh. that mushroom and paying for it. Unfortunate. Um, looks like he's taking a damage that. boost at the start of this level, and I'm not sure if it's entirely necessary to do, but it's it seems to be costing him. Yeah, he can just jump right over that. So hopefully. Having that little cushion will get him through this level. Ooh, Struggling though. And that spike and the skewer gets him, but he sees the end. Yeah, really the end is in sight. He, re he really wants that. Uh, to the, the auto scrollers, man, they they put they the pressure hurt. on. Oh, dance to taking a thump to the head. That snake block bringing him out. Oh, and. Loses it to the thwomp. Gotta say, these are some busy levels so far. There's a lot going on. The unusual guy mentioning Bismuth not not having his sister to high-five. His last match, he was high-fiving the air. He was doing a spiritual high-five, I think. So don't you worry. When he gets those clears... And he does get a clear. First one in yeah. the match. Now, of course, this match is not... Uh, live, we're watching and commentating here for the first time live, but but this race was pre-recorded. Busy week for lots of runners and commentators with TwitchCon going on. Yeah, Dance is still working on this level, feeling confident in his ability to clear it I suppose or maybe just feels like he's already invested a lot of time and yeah that's the hard thing you know you put the it's... time in it's hard to skip once you've already sunk a minute or two you know we're looking at three minutes that he's put into this level he... and it paid off for him this time it sure did so tied up at one clear piece about three minutes in and Bismuth kind of struggling with that Koopa cart a little bit yeah Oh, my heavens. It's a lot of bumps. Oh, oh just and jumps, jumps right the into the ice. I don't know if he didn't see it or if he was just kind of scared by the cheap sheeps creeping up behind him or what happened there. Yeah. Gonna it's hard forego to, you know, the car this time. Yeah. I think that's probably a smart move. Yeah, you know, a lot of a lot of our runners aren't aren't big fans of the Koopa cart. I personally am, but uh only only when playing casually. Yeah, it's uh they're a little unreliable. You you never know cuz some levels you actually need them. So, I feel like the first time if they're at the beginning of the level, the first time you see it, you kind of have to take it just in case. But he I think he's made it far enough into this level to recognize that it's not strictly necessary to progress yeah. with the car. Dance to losing his Yoshi. And Bismuth with the flare trying to get those one-ups.
gets through the key door, and he's got one second left just in time. Clear oh, number two. Beating the buzzer. Bezard. I bet that loading transition between the door took forever in his mind. Just yeah. waiting to see oh, if, that, clear if he was going to clear that level or not. Tying it right back up. Back to back clear, so tied up at two. Bism Bismuth not doing the air high fives this time. He's focused. Too focused. Too much on the line here. Bismuth electing to take this level on. Can see the end, but who knows how many sub screens await him. Yeah, you know, that is the biggest bait when they show you the end right at the beginning and you feel like you're so close you can taste it. I Sometimes feel like when they end up, tease you with it, it usually is it's not usually be a very far quick away. Level. Yes. Yeah. And then you just end up paying the price. Oh, and getting baited a little bit by those blue blocks that were there. Didn't realize that they were going to go away. <laughs> Bismuth, so stoic that the fans aren't sure whether it's a camera or a picture. <laughs> See if you can navigate this switch maze. Dance to taking the death here. Oh, Bismuth reaching for that claw, not quite able to get the height. Gotta be thinking about, you know, about potential skip at this point. I was mentioning in our, yeah. in our last round, uh, that's a big difference between some of our runners, you know, that those that uh, maybe have a few more clears per round, they they are quick on the skip. They have no fear leaving a level in the dust, even if they've put a little time into it. Yeah, I think that's important. You can't place too much value on the time you've already spent on a level. You've got to be willing to abandon if things are starting to go south. He does have a checkpoint on this level, though, and I think he's starting to get a sense of what he needs to do. Dance to tricked by that YOLO. That's that's pretty rough, you know, when uh, they give you a pipe that you just have no indicator where you need to go. Can't blame yeah, him for the skip there. That's Mario Maker for you. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the the difference between a good maker and a mediocre maker is somebody who puts good indications. Yeah, I agree. Uh, there There are a lot of ways to do it. A lot of ways to make your level challenging, but fair and predictable yeah, to a certain degree. that third clear there. Yeah, so finally getting through that level that he spent all that time on. About halfway through our first round here. Bismuth with the one level lead. Dance has been putting some time into this level. He's he's only got eight seconds less left. He's got to be getting close to the end. Has a little bit of a pick a pipe. Oh, and there's the there. end, and he gets it. Ties it up once again. Tied back up. The great match here. You know, both these players talented in their own right, uh, but standing on a, you know, a pretty even ground. Oh, and Bismuth oh. with a little bit of the YOLO jump, not quite able to make it past all with of the With a power spikes. up, that's the right. That's the right method if you can find a power up. Yep. I'm not sure that I don't think there was one in this level that he has found yet, so he might have to take a different approach here. Ooh, and dance to running from these rotten mushrooms. I personally that I think this is my least favorite kind of level is when you have to deal with rotten mushrooms. Dance to not even phased. Taking the lead for the first time this round. And Bismuth was sizing up a jump and forgot that there was a thwomp above his head. Taking another death here. Makes it across that time, and there is a power up, but he's gonna just take it through the spike maze, and hopefully that hopefully door leads to the end. Yeah, for yeah there it is. It tied it up. <laughs> so tied up before a piece. Both runners gonna go back to finding a level that they like. Six minutes left. All tied up. This is really anybody's match. This is a great match. Yeah, it kind of seems that every time someone has cleared a level within 20, 30, 30 seconds, seconds or so, yeah. it's been tied up again. 
Oh, and another blind jump that does not pay off for Dansta. I like the the risk taking though, because you never know what's on the other side. Yeah. Those gaps. Gonna take the high road instead this time. Bismuth still searching for a level that he deems worthy. Take on some enemies here. Try to boom, boom, find where the key is. And that. there it is. And not boom, 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 not in Bowser Jr. But he's going to stick around and see if there's another key. And uh, there, there was. Is, so. The right decision there. Very smart game sense there. Knowing that there could possibly be another key door awaiting him. Bismuth fighting with some 0G enemy bouncing. And Dansta with clear number 5. Once again, taking the lead. Yeah, which, if uh, the rest of this match is any indication, Bismuth's got to be close to a clear here. Yeah, we'll see. Something's got to give eventually. Yeah. I would not be at all surprised to see this match going to end overtime. Yeah, based on the back certainly. And forth, but, but you never do know. We'll see One runner gets stuck on a bad level there. <laughs> what do you know? There it is, tied up once again, so... As Dansta is still searching for a level that he wants to attempt. Just over four minutes left. Both runners doing pretty good on lives. You know, Bismuth has plenty of lives. Dansta still has uh, nowhere near the worry zone. Yeah. I think it would take a pretty volatile level at it. In which case, I don't think either runner will be looking I to take on that kind of level at this yeah, stage. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they'd sit through it. I think I would hope that if they ran into something like that, they'd, they'd skip pretty quick. Yeah, Bolt's still searching. Dance to feeling this one out. Might give it a try. Gets a checkpoint. And through that door. Bismuth found a level that he feels good about. Single trick level here. All he has to do is get through this Bowser and this Hammer Bro. Oh, oh, Dance to Bismuth with a hard death. Victory inside. I don't think he'll be skipping this one. Yeah, I think both runners feel somewhat confident in their ability to clear these two levels. Take that lead once again. Dance is going to have to wait this one out at the checkpoint. Bismuth taking some different approaches, trying to go fast, trying to wait it out, go slow. We'll see what winds up working for him. And there Man, he is. And he found the clear there. Clear number six for business. Oh, man. This level <laughs> for Dance Day is pretty tight. Yeah, fans still trying to decide if I, if these guys are using cams. So they're moving, guys. These are real cameras. But so stoic, so focused. As they usually are, you know, both these racers are usually pretty... Dance to recognizing that that dropping platform was in fact bait and... And with Clears the, clear, the level. Last ties little it back up, 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, our with trend continues. Left, we're so back definitely... to the search. <laughs> two minutes left, we're definitely in a place where we could be seeing overtime on this round. Oh, but Bismuth winds up getting a short level, takes the lead. Yeah, clear number Again. seven. And seven, you know, that's great for Bismuth. That's, that's almost two full levels above his average. He's yeah, we're getting some good. Both these guys good got to be for both really them. good. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Bismuth has a little bit of time to pad his lead, make sure he can take this first round. Dance a little bit of desperation mode at this point. Bismuth with the speed run level, if he can execute, this, this is definitely the right level to be in uh, with, with only a minute left. Dance to seems pretty capable with this level, it's just, I'm not sure if he's going to have enough time to work Ooh. his way through it. 
I think he has to consider a skip here. But with 45 seconds left, you know, you burn a good 30 seconds with a skip. He's committed to this point. Bismuth just kind of barely missing on some of these obstacles. Quit now, he's done. Yeah, recognizes Eight seconds that his, left, his round is over. It's over. So round one goes to Bismuth, but such a close match. Yeah, back and forth the whole time. There was uh, up until the end there when Bismuth took that final lead. I don't think either runner was had a concrete lead for more than thirty seconds or so. Yeah, I mean this is definitely still anybody's anybody's match. That round's over, but. These guys are very, very close in their abilities. Yeah, like you said at the beginning, their their point spread, point averages have been pretty close for this league so far. So not surprised at all to see the first round come to a, a one-point match. And we'll see them get started for round two. Bismuth with the 1-0 lead. Watching dance to play always makes me wish I knew German. <laughs> Here we go. Speed, Speed run, run level for, for Bismuth, yeah. Yep. Uh, something seems to be up with our with our clear gunner. Hasn't uh, cleared up, so have to be sure to, to take notes. Bismuth does have a clear condition on this level, though. Oh, he's got to have a shelmet. Yeah. I feel like not runner's favorite thing in the world to have a clear condition. Yeah, clear condition. Oh, and he that was where he was jumps the to gun go. just a little bit, trying to squeak out the frames. I think he's got a good handle on this level, though. Yeah, knowing this... where he needs to get that helmet. Perhaps not knowing what awaits him to potentially knock that helmet off, but he's invested for sure. Yeah, got his got his shelmet. There's the end. First clear to Bismuth. Short and quick. And it looks like our clear counter's been fixed, so we're we're ready to roll. And dance to tying it up. Tying it up. up. No surprise. Bismuth gets a clear. At dance to has to answer. Bismuth on the search. Dance to having time to find his own level. Fiery Fright. That sounds fun. Bismuth doesn't agree. Bismuth skip. <laughs> yeah. That I think for me, if I were to run this, that would be the hardest thing is you know, I I see a level that looks fun and I want to skip. I want to stick with it, even even if it's a long level that I had to skip. I saw uh, Dragon Feeny in one round. She asked her fans to go back and clip the level code for a level that she wanted to try that she just couldn't because it was too long. Right, yeah. Because e even if a level looks um, interesting or easy, if it's going to take you four minutes to clear. Yeah, you just can't, that's just, can't take the time. Yeah, that's a no-go. You can't justify that in this format. Bismuth trying to figure out how to <laughs> bounce his way through that gap. He wants to move those thwomps. And there he goes. Dance the search for a key. Oh, getting taken out by the boom boom. Bismuth gets a little bit behind his thwomp. That was the only way to get there. He's got a reset like door, fourth, unfortunately. Yeah, what a, good, what good a, level design. Good level design. Great level design. I like when they give you a second chance. Yeah. Is that the end of the level? It is not. Oh. We're on a journey, folks. 
Oh, that there is, it is. The, okay. They, they were with baiting the, us with that one. Yep, you baited. Fear number two for bismuth. Got a flurry of Bowser enemies for Dansta. <laughs> All he has to do is dodge. For now. Trying to yeah, kill these fireballs. Take advantage of that Koopa shell, get all those enemies out of his way, or as many as possible. Dance Dancer with the clear. Dancing with that clear. So tied up once again. That one took a little longer, but we're tied nonetheless. And nothing too threatening for Bismuth here, but this seems like kind of a long level. Perhaps the end is in sight soon. Well, there's a checkpoint, so probably not. He's got a little way to go, most likely. Yeah, one, you know, once in a while you find those that have a checkpoint right before the end, but that's pretty rare. Yeah, not a, not. A it's got to be thing. discouraging when you're, you know, when you're in a speed run and you you've already sunk, you know, maybe 30 seconds or maybe a minute, and you hit that checkpoint. Don't know how much is left. Yeah, you'd, li you'd like to assume you're halfway, but you never know. Not Cross your fingers that you don't run into the one of those dreaded checkpoint twos. Those are yeah. a and great indicator that up. this race is way too long. Oh, oh. Nice level creator giving him a power up at the end so he can safely jump over the enemy. Yeah, Bismuth retaking the lead. Get his third clear. This is a tricky one for Dansta. Yeah. Oh, we, and oh. deciding he doesn't want to try that again. A uh, well endowed just... fire bar. Yeah, you've got to make that jump pretty quickly. Beat that fire bar out. Boss Battle Mansion. I feel like anytime you see boss battles multiple, that's going to be a pretty quick skip. <laughs> Fans discussing, you know, the mechanics of this this format. Uh, interesting that the real trick to this race is not being, not necessarily being uh, a great expert player as much as it is knowing when to skip. I mean, all of our players are great players for sure, but sometimes it comes down to the best skipper wins. Yeah, there's a, a pretty sizable difference between the person who can clear any level that's put in front of them, given enough time, and the person who can, on the fly, um, clear anything that you put in front of them. Yeah, yep, exactly. I, I mean, and that's such a true statement. When I first started streaming myself, I, you know, I, give me enough time, I can clear most levels, but... I'll sink 500 lives into a level that some of these guys will be able to burn through in in just a couple tries. Right, and it, it is a speedrun competition after all, so the, that ability to to adapt and, and get through things quickly is definitely valued higher than someone who's sitting and doing an expert challenge, trying to conserve their lives and make it through every level. Sometimes here you got to take those risks, make those blind jumps, and feel levels out in a more aggressive way. Oh, and Bismuth. Being outplayed by the moving platforms. That hurts. And Dance to getting baited into. A spiny death. A giant spiny death. <laughs> Just over halfway through this round. Not having a good time with this level. This thing, so. Can Kaiser blocked all over the place. Yeah, no, gonna go ahead and skip it. He was on a time limit too. He only had eight seconds left to, oh, man. to clear. Good life conservation there. Yeah. I'm not sure if he recognized the time limit or if he just... Uh, Realized he was kind of stuck time. and didn't want to try it again. <laughs> yeah, still tied up with three clears on this round. Six and a half minutes left. 
save. Bismuth has been looking at this uh, end of level for a little while. And, and that's it. With the clear, yeah, just, yeah. He knew he was close, just had to work his way past that last auto switching uh, moving platform. And those can be so hard. Yeah, especially because the especially block that was switching it wasn't necessarily on screen at all times, so you yeah. have the the rhythm down and know when it's and, gonna change. Yeah, and those those spikes with their giant hitboxes make it difficult sometimes to. Uh, yeah, for sure. Those those are pretty rough. <laughs> yeah, so Bismuth taking that one level lead on his already one round lead, and Dance is kind of. Floating through this level, wandering, trying to find an end, and he gets oh, back and to the beginning. Back That's to the beginning. That always hurts. disheartening. You finally find that pipe and just crushes your dreams. Yeah, uh, you know, for and that's what I'm talking about right there. I think some of our uh, competitors with more clears, IPK, Ryukar, the Beast, uh, Low Curbs, Blue Choke. I think a lot of those guys would have would have skipped at that point. And he actually needs to go back to the beginning, it looks like, to get that red coin that is on a timer. Because he just needs the one more red coin to get a key to get through that door. Oh, yes, you're totally right. So he's going to try this again. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say, that's, that's a tough time. spot right there, because you can go through that whole rotation of the level again. You'd have to get all four keys at that point, and I think that was probably a smart decision to skip that one at that yeah, point. Time. Bismuth, Goomba line to the face. And we've got an auto-scroller for Dance though, but it's a slow one, so... We'll see what he can do with it. Little Kaizo block, little fireball action. That level... Just got more fun as he went along. But he's gonna keep at it. Bismuth, clear number five. Alright, that's our first two level lead that we've seen in yeah, this match. Is. But there's the end. Insight for Dansa. Dansa may be anticipating another Kaizo block and causing him to wait a little too long and get hit by that fireball. He's gonna try to take a high road here, maybe. This level definitely looks he, like it was put together by a nine-year-old. Yeah, he, he can't give up on this one, though. He knows where the end is. He know, he's seen it. He's, he's been so it. close twice. Bismuth just had the has a single shell jump to end this. Now, of course, I would never uh, be able to pull this trick off. It'd take me a lot more than three and a half minutes. But Bismuth definitely has the skills. He can three three clear lead here pretty pretty easily. Yeah, this is a tempting one. Just one little jump is all he Single needs. trick. Oh, and dance to clutch it. Oh, yes. Oh, oh just doesn't get the After shot. dodging so many difficult That's disheartening. bullet bills and stuff, that hurts. Wow, Bismuth does have to be a little careful. He doesn't want to... He does have a lot of lives still, but... This is the kind of level that I could see him burning through all yeah. of them in the next two and a half minutes. So he's got to be a little careful. If he were to take a game over and dance, it looks like he's going to clear this level at some point. Yeah. Oh, there. <laughs> Bismuth got his clear. There we go. So. Get, oh, the, the Kaizo block. The three level swing. And yeah, dance to. He's so close with this level, but I don't know that he's going to have enough time to get this one and two more. So Bismuth might be might have secured himself to a lead at this point now no matter what happens we'll be watching that third match um just for the sake of points, we're in it yeah. For points yep if bismuth does take this uh this round then of course he'll get three points um and then we'll we'll give one more point to whoever wins the third round but as this is a tournament of points and not a tournament of wins and losses necessarily. Oh, and Dansa finally makes it through. And we'll see what he can do. It, it's possible here to get two quick levels. If he found the right levels, yeah, he could tie it up. 
Well, Bismuth is going to work on a bob -omb wall break. We'll see what the game has in store for Dance to here. He does also have only four lives left, so definitely a precarious situation, and he takes an immediate death from a falling Goomba. The classic. But he's going to give this level a go. And oh, the block. troll block. Come yeah, on. Yeah, I think this is the game just telling him this This is not your round, Dance to Try again next time. He keeps going for it. I think it's... I mean... It... He still has a chance to tie it up, but I feel like he... it might be time to skip this level. Yeah, desperately searching for a some cheese here and yeah th this level was brutal uh definitely an innocent enough looking level although maybe the falling goomba right at the start should have been the sign yeah yeah but yeah he just game over was not didn't didn't have the time to search for the perfect level at that point in the round yeah so he's just waiting out the timer games and pizza asking about uh space cat and ryu cars match right before this uh, Ryukar did sweep, but Space Cat made uh, those very, very uh, tight matches off. Well, especially the first and last match. Oh, end in sight, and it's time up. But Bismuth is going to... Now, Dance did take a game over there, so that would revert his clears to two, correct? Yep, yep, that's right. Yeah, so that's going to be a 6-2 win for Bismuth. Yep. Yeah, we'll go into the third round here. Dansta is still having an opportunity to get a point out of the last round. So, got to clear your head of the frustrations of that last oh, level. Oh, saying he had four, so it was 6-3. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll see here. Bismuth going to... Be going for the sweep, and that would certainly go a long way towards improving his overall league standings. That would uh, that would double his total game wins for the league. Yeah. Yep. Put him on the road to to maybe making the playoffs. And yeah, doing doing really well today with seven and six clears in those rounds yeah both above average that's definitely going to help his average clears you know those are the numbers you kind of tend to see from the people at the at the top at the top yeah that's seven seven clear range Ooh, interesting level here for dance though. gotta make sure that he uh, gets all these piranha plants out of their boxes yeah those those jumps to get up to the next layer pretty Tricky, pretty tight, but he feels confident in it. He's gonna go for it. Timer's not too tight here, so he's taking a little slower. He does need 50 coins in this level as well. Oh wow! Yeah. Probably gonna be one giant 50 coin somewhere. If I had to guess, I might get not a lot of red coins. Dan's still taking a spring with him. Oh man, we've got some. Oh. Some power-up spam going on. He's got what he needs, but it's a clear condition. Now can he just get through the rest of the level? Certainly an interesting way to <laughs> have a clear condition. And Looking for oh. some way to... Oh, and there he is. Yeah, get the, the little Kaizo block underneath. And gets the there, so dance. Clear number one for this one. Bismuth. Doesn't look like he's having too much of a fun time with this level. Lots of lava. These thwomp scrollers are always difficult. He does get through that first section. Yeah, he's gotten through this first one, of, I think, last time also. So. Knowing he has to go low this time. See if he has another. Oh no! There's the, the end point. So yep, tie, tie it up. up. Holding the protocol. Yeah. 
keeping the, the sweep dreams alive. Looks like a little bit of a puzzle level for Dance to not having any of it. Give it a little chance. <laughs> the fan's still unsure if, if Dance does is a photo or a cam. He's just stoic, guys. I, I've seen the shadows moving and I've seen some blinks. I'm pretty sure it's a live cam. I, it could have frozen, but he's just... It's the mystery of the night. He's focused. Oh. Gamer mode activated. Dance to flying through the stage. Oh! Finding shell to the back. That hurts. It's a speedrun level, so he... He knows it's a quick one. Just a matter of... 20 second speedrun. Just gotta execute perfectly. Ah, oh, there it goes. Gets past that obstacle. But did he do it fast enough? Is That's the, the question. question. How tight's the timer? And he makes it. And he it. did. A little bit of leniency there. Nicely played. Yeah. Retaking the lead. Yep, two clears. About f three and a half minutes in, so pretty good. On good pace here. And getting the world record in the level. A nice little bonus. Smith working on this level looks to be a little longer, but not too menacing. I don't know how feel people feel about these jet stream. <laughs> but it takes away the clear, ties things back up. Yeah, those jet streams can be your friend or they can be your worst enemy. <laughs> Dancer with the skip. <laughs> One of the fans, whoever made the blowies, should be fired. Well, that's o just Ollie not Babino. Nice. <laughs> they just wanted to make Goombas fly. They Everybody wants to fly intention. sometimes. Exactly. All right, both runners still doing okay on lives. That's not too much of a threat at this point. But Dance has got to have it in the back of his mind after last time. Oh, and Bismuth not realizing that he needed coins, and he runs out of time. Oh. This should be an easy enough level for him to complete, though, now that he knows that clear condition is there. Maybe not, oh. actually. I the timer's so tight that it makes it a little bit difficult. You kind of have to be hitting the blocks with the coins at the same time as yep, you hit the... Yep. He's going to oh, go for the strat of getting a bunch front, of yeah. yeah. Front load, and then he needs six at the end, and he's good to go. Oh. See, he's tried to double hit the blocks, and that's yeah, costing yeah. him. So this level definitely trickier than it seemed at first glance. Yeah, he's going for all the double hits, and I think Why? that is the play. Why? Why? But now he's starting to get into a little bit dangerous territory with his lives. Yeah. Oh, and he had the, the coins. clear condition. Oh. If he would have just hit that other block that was on the flagpole, he might have cleared there. And the fans in chat have officially renamed Dansta to Dabsta. <laughs> oh, Bismuth. Taking a walk. This definitely a frustrating level, particularly because it seemed innocent and harmless at first. He's, he's seen the end so many times that uh, he, he can't bring himself to skip, but I think it's time. Yeah, it's down to three lives. Especially if he knows the score. Oh, and Dansta oh, is so Dance close is so to clearing close this to level as well. Giant. Oh, Those but he giants. finally does. Bismuth taking the one taking the lead. level lead. Finally clears that level. Patience paying off. The frustration yeah. and the patience paying off. Found his way through. 
And Dansta, he's poised to clear this level any second. Yep, just hoping that he can avoid the giant hitboxes of those spikes. And he, can and he does, so it ties it up again. So now Bismuth is just a little bit of a precarious situation with four lives. He's got to be a little careful here. He, he can't take on another level like the one he just cleared. Yep, we're basically at halftime right now. And uh, yeah, with three lives left, they're tied up at three clears. If if he he's dangerously close to, to losing one of his clears if he game overs. Yeah, and that could be... And there's plenty the of time for that to happen. Definitely. See, he's, he's got to be thinking about trying to farm some one-ups as well if he sees an opportunity for it. Yeah, I don't I don't recall. Have you, have we seen very many uh, runners come back from from a game over and, and take, the, take the round? I'm not too sure. It's, you know, if you take the, the last... I feel like most of them have been fairly close, so... You know, yeah. these one or two different matches, that, that's huge. But if you if it's like that last round where Bismuth wound up having a three-match lead at the end there, uh, you know, not the end of the world to, to take a death. But usually you're not going to be taking a death when you're playing that well to have a three-level yeah, level lead. So, like, when it does come into play, it usually is going to be pretty impactful. Yeah. Oh, and Dance it with another clear. So now it's becoming hard. ever more important for Bismuth to hang on and not take a game over here. Yeah, I think that I've seen uh, at least one match where both runners got a game over. And so obviously somebody came back, but... Kind of a... Yeah, hopefully Bismuth can avoid, avoid that fate. And this level looking like another one that's not terribly dangerous. He's just got to be careful and... Oh, just as I say that. He saw the bullet bill coming. He tried to skid and turn around. Just and it, can I get an F in the chat to pay respects? I feel like he's got this level down, though. He just... He needs to be a little careful with that bullet bill. This flying Bowser is chasing him, but doesn't seem to be much of a threat. Perhaps that will change by the end of the level. Dance so with the Meowser fight. And he can see the end right there. He needs a Fire Flower, and I don't think that pipe's going to give him one. We laugh about these, uh, you know, these Meowser... There's Bismuth with the clear. Taught it before again. But yep. once again, and Bismuth did get a couple one ups from that level as well. So definitely a good situation. Yeah, lost a couple lives too, though. So yeah, about, about broke even on that level. So that that's going to be okay for him as long as he can keep doing that. Yeah, uh, I was saying, you know, danced during that danced in that Meowser fight. We laugh about the uh, you know just fire and get infinite fire flowers, but. When you don't get the infinite fire flowers, a Meowser fight's a pretty difficult thing to pull off. Yeah, it's it's a tough one, especially in confined space like that. Yeah. It's on the slow snake path. A speedrunner's favorite thing. <laughs> oh, and almost gets baited by the platform. Bismuth is on the hunt for a good level that he doesn't have to waste a lot of lives on. Oh, and a lot of thwomps. A little bit of a blockade there. Dance the needing the helicopter power up. Oh, and the helicopter is at the end. The flurry of power stars. Retaking his lead. Dance to is not going out without a fight. Yeah, putting putting the pressure on Bismuth here. He sees the end and the time is up. He's got a maze to work through. I'm not so sure about this level. He's Three minutes it, left, though. though, and it's—I mean, it's definitely anybody's game. 
he's seen the end and and if they if he knows where dance is and clears hard to convince himself to skip when he's seen the end for sure oh and he just needs to slide through here oh i yeah at first glance he could just take some damage or something yeah you want the power up to make it through everything quickly but i don't think there was anywhere that he could lose the power up after this point yeah, he had the those munchers, but uh, I think that by the time he gets the power up, he's past that. I'm not sure if yeah, he accidentally yep. grabbed the power up there that time, but yeah, gonna take the skip. Just recognizing just doesn't that he have can't the make it there to in time. Through it, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's where the that's where it's really gonna hurt him with spending so many lives on that other level that he did wind up clearing, but still kind of paying the price for it. Yeah, danced it with a checkpoint. Yeah, it looks like... Oh, Elizabeth troll! Taking the game over. He's going to go back down to three clears, so... Now a pretty heavy deficit with only a minute and a half. Yeah, removed. pretty difficult. Uh, he could come back, but pretty difficult. Yeah, as well as Dance uh, kind of being midway through a level with the checkpoint. Yeah. Looking good for Dance to, to get to salvage one point out of this this match. Yep, and interestingly enough, despite you know Bismuth's win here, Dance actually, you know, if he takes this, he'll be at eleven points versus Bismuth's uh, seven points. So, right. So, it, it's important. Points matter. Point, point, point. Yeah. Yeah, like Bismuth really would have wanted the sweep here to give himself a much better chance at the playoffs. But definitely helping himself out at least. Getting a little closer, but he's gonna have to play really well. <laughs> yeah, at this point, uh, I mean, I think a clear burns like 20, 25 seconds, so pretty difficult to. Uh, I, I think that this, this is a match. Dance uh, keeps falling into this pit. Oh, and this pit was a complete troll. But yeah, he, he has the two-level lead. Eight seconds left. There's not going to be a chance for Bismuth to do anything about it at this point. No, so this is it. Going to wind up being a 2-1 victory for Bismuth. Dance to salvaging the one point in the last round. Yep. And uh, that's the end of this match, guys. It was a great match. Of course, pre-recorded, so we won't be able to get any interviews. But... Uh... Coming up with our last match of the day after this, we've got uh, Slade and Big John, I believe. Yes. And uh, we'll get simply an Alt Insider here in the commenter booth, commentator booth. And thanks so much for uh, being here and commentating with me, Kerbis. Yep, my pleasure.